Okay, so Monday morning routine today in a little different area than what I usually film my videos. Um, my table is filled with sunlight right now and I couldn't see anything. So what I'm going to do is if we look at my checking account expense tracker, a couple of different expenses came out. One, I had school pictures for James. Now, when did school pictures get so expensive? $48. That's for a digital download and some like a couple of five by sevens. Like I remember a couple years ago when I got school pictures, I always get the digital download because you can have it forever. You can literally print it out as many times as you want. Um, it was $25. This year it was 38. So it's definitely going up. And then I had some household expenses. So I get a lot of questions about my utilities. My utilities right here is a Vista. I'm on comfort level billing, which means it takes the average of all my bills, like all my utility bills, and I pay the average of those. So um, it's I have to have this re-looked at every year. Re they reanalyze and then I get a new uh, comfort level bill amount. Uh, it's a little more complicated than that. Sometimes you owe a little bit more at the time. Sometimes you get a credit. Um, if you would like, I can go definitely go into comfort level billing. But for me, I like it because it allows me to budget more effectively because I know exactly one single number for my utilities. It's not fluctuating. Now, 693, I get a lot of people who come at me and say, oh my gosh, that's so high. Well, you should see our utility bill in the summer. It can sometimes be $1,000. This is what happens. Big house means bigger expenses. The more you have, the more money you're going to spend. And unfortunately, that's the case with us. We own 20 acres. We have a lot happening at our house. We have a three-story house, 7,000 square feet. It's massive. Um, with that comes, you know, more utility billing, um, cooling and heating, and we have a hot tub and we have all the things. So it is a little bit expensive for our utilities. So like I said, it all depends on what you're using and what you have and how big of a space you're heating or cooling and what kind of gadgets you're running and all the things. Um, and the next household expense I had that came out was my home security. So that is a big one for us. I get a lot of people who also come at me about that being really high, but security here at the house means a lot to me. It's something I value. This is a non-negotiable for me. Um, so that's all I had coming out as far as my checking account. No, I'm happy to report no cash spending, no eating out. Okay. This is one of the things that I've been trying to work on, especially since I have not been meal planning. Literally, I've had no time. Horrible excuse, I know. Um, but I have been kind of tracking what we're doing as far as dinners here on my monthly meal plan um, worksheet on the back of the month in the new budget by paycheck workbook. If you haven't already, for the budget by paycheck workbook, this is the new small size that I am using for pre-orders are happening right now. But today is the last day that you're going to get free sticky note teller slips in with your order. So if you use the cash envelope method and you want these really cute, awesome um, teller slips to bring with you down the bank, it helps you figure out what bill denominations you pull out. So let me go back to my budget here. So if you use the cash envelope breakdown worksheet, you can then fill out the teller slip. And this is the only thing you bring down the bank. You literally rip it off it sticks anywhere you bring it down to the bank and give that to the teller they love them it makes their life easier it makes your life easier and there is a ton I've been working on this one for a year and look how many I have they'll last forever so you get a free um, sticky note teller slip pad in with your pre-order today's the last day and um, we said orders up until Wednesday um, are gonna get the teller slips so just a reminder for that. Now, the next thing, yesterday, I did a reel on my Instagram going over, I finished my October budget calendar. October, a lot is happening. And I'll get into this when I start creating because you all know the first step is my October budget calendar. Once I have that finalized, now I can go in and start creating my October budget itself. 
a lot happening, a lot. My son cro started cross country. That means we have cross country meets twice a week now, starting on, you can see on Wednesday. And then now we're starting on, um, we have it Monday and Wednesday. And yeah, so it's a lot. I also have, um, we're traveling the 14th through the 22nd for um, Arizona this year. Oh, I'm running. We're also traveling to Kellogg, Idaho on the 4th. We're going to stay the night. And then I run my first half marathon on the 5th. That is huge. Out of everything, out of everything that I'm doing, this is by far what I'm most excited about. I've been training for this for over six months. The training is the hardest part. Race day is the celebration of all your hard work, the ability and blessing to move your body and do a half marathon. I am so freaking excited and I know I'm going to kill it. I know I am. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So that's what's going on in October. We'll get into that more. But what I was going to say, I need to start planning and doing my October budget. Now, sometimes what I'll do is I'll use two budgets. So you get five paycheck budget trackers per month. Sometimes I use two. Sometimes I'll do a mock budget and do a, just a plain brain dump. It's literally just like, like this, kind of at the very bottom. Like I'm writing thoughts. Like I don't have a Valentine's thinking fund because um, I already hit it. I don't um, have, I need to think about adding my pest control expense to my fixed expenses because now we're doing that monthly. We have a little bit of a mice infestation. So we're trying to get that under control. Oh, it's all the things. It's all the things. So I might do a mock budget of me just brain dumping. And then I might do my finalized budget on the other page. That is an option. So that's where we are getting that October budget calendar done. And I already got updated with my spending. Like I said, um, no cash spending. That is my Monday morning routine.